Hi, I'm Sean Harvey. I'm in the history department at Seton Hall University, and I'm standing here next to uh, what archaeologists call the Jennings petroglyph. This petroglyph is unique and extraordinary because it's the first petroglyph that non-Indigenous people ever found in New Jersey, uh, and because it's the only petroglyph that we know for a fact to have been in the ancestral homeland of the Lenape, Lenape Hoki. This petroglyph was uh, found in 1965. It had been exposed after a period of significant drought that brought down the water level in the Delaware River. The archaeologist Herbert Kraft, who was a longtime professor at Seton Hall University and who saw where this um, petroglyph was originally situated, transported the petroglyph here to Seton Hall. And it's been here since 1968, um, originally in the lobby of Fahey Hall, but since 2015, um, right here in Walsh Library. But petroglyphs were more than just rock art. They seem to have been ways of, of situating people, situating people in a natural landscape and situating people in a, a world that was filled uh, with other human and non-human beings. Making a petroglyph like this would have been an, uh, a really considerable amount of work. Um, it was made by a, a process that uh, archaeologists call pecking. So that means taking a sharp, hard rock and directly striking um, the, the, the stone uh, to carve the images. This petroglyph dates from um, uh, somewhere around uh, 3,000 years ago or more, uh, maybe as much as 5,000 years ago. The bright white that you're seeing um, is chalk. That chalk was added in the, the mid to late uh, 20th century to make the markings more visible. Indigenous scholars and non-Indigenous archaeologists, anthropologists, um, even some historians and literary scholars have done really fascinating work taking what we know about uh, people and their cultures and applying it to try to, to figure out what some of these engravings might have meant. For uh, Lenape, this petroglyph might have meant a way to mark boundaries, social and political boundaries identifying a, a place where, where they and only they uh, could hunt or fish. Petroglyphs may also have marked places of particular uh, sacred significance. Lenape Hoking, the, the, the homeland of uh, Lenape, was a place filled uh, with, with spiritual power. Perhaps the markings on uh, the petroglyph were um, uh, ways of recording um, ceremonies or rituals that they conducted or what they experienced. This petroglyph contains more than 30 markings. Several decades ago, the, the Seton Hall archaeologist Herbert Kraft proposed identifications of most of these, uh, but not all. Since then, other scholars have offered uh, their, their own readings, proposed uh, their own uh, kind of suggested meanings. I can tell you some of the, the possible readings that um, um, other scholars have proposed. If you look at the dots on the top right-hand corner of the, the petroglyph, some people have suggested uh, that they're stars. You can see um, a, a crescent moon. Other scholars have pointed to the number of uh, images or apparent images of animals. You can see what appear to be lizard-like creatures. Might be a dragonfly. Elsewhere, you can seem to see mammals or other quadrupeds. We can also see uh, human-like figures. Um, men, uh, perhaps men with exaggerated genitalia. Um, and uh, one scholar, Edward Lenick, has suggested um, toward the very top of the, the petroglyph, we can see a man apparently wielding some kind of staff. Um, he suggested that this is a, a shaman figure. Now this is purely uh, speculation on my part, but to my untrained eye, some apparent resemblance in another figure, Great Horned Serpent, a really important figure in um, Lenape culture, a powerful being that lived under the water um, that could prey on 
um, human beings. Many Lenape remain in their ancestral homelands, Lenape Hoking. Um, we're kind of square in the middle of Lenape Hoking right now. But as a result of uh, histories of dispossession and removal, there's a considerable Lenape diaspora in other parts of North America, including Ontario, Wisconsin, and Oklahoma. I think that Native history and Lenape history specifically, but Native and Indigenous history more broadly, is uh, so important for us to, to know as, um, as Americans understanding the um, crucial role that Lenapes uh, have played in the history of the United States, understanding what the United States um, and its colonial uh, predecessors have done uh, um, to, in some cases, with Lenapes. Um, this is really an essential part of um, United States history, just as indigenous people remain an essential part of the United States today. This petroglyph is um, extraordinary. We will probably never know for certain what the engraved images um, mean. But that does nothing to, to lessen our appreciation of this um, unique artifact that offers a unique glimpse into the, the ancestral Lenape. Um, Seton Hall is extremely privileged to host it.